do subscribe to ikeda channel and press bell icon to get updates about latest engineering hsc and iit je main and advanced videos hello students today we are studying chapter human health and diseases in that we are studying topic ascaris in childhood you must have noticed small children crying due to stomach discomfort that is ascaris intestinal worms let's study about them Ascaris is a condition that is more commonly seen in younger children, children below five years of age. Whenever these children eat more of sugary foods or more of fried foods or more of junk food or infected by an organism which is ascaris, they tend to get this condition which is termed as bloating, fever, discomfort in the stomach, unable to digest food. All are the symptoms that are seen in young children. Now, ascaris or you can say Ascaris lumbaroids are a parasite that are present in soil in certain food as well as if it is infected. They are basically long, slender and have features which is tapered towards the end. Some of the common symptoms of Ascaris could be gastroenteritis. Now gastrointestinal discomfort could also be seen in younger adults. If you get an Ascaris infection in younger adults that could be blotting, indigestion, gastric immobility seen in younger adults. Even nausea and vomiting could be there. When I say nausea, it's a feeling of vomiting. Tiredness and unable to absorb vitamins and minerals of the food are some of the symptoms of Ascaris. Obviously, if you're eating the food and digesting it very properly, all the nutrients that you get from the food are absorbed by those Ascaris and used for their own growth and development. So prevention could be washing your hands, safe disposal of the feces contaminated with ascaris and washing and sanitizing your hands before eating the food so that you don't pass on this. Ascaris. It is a condition or a disease you can say which is most commonly seen in smaller children. Children whose immune system are not completely developed whether it is acquired immune system or its attenuated immune system. Nothing is developed. It is a disease that is caused by a parasite which could be a normal flora fauna of soil. The round worm is termed as Ascaris lumbricots. Now Ascaris lumbricots may be present inside soil or contaminated fecal water which could be your normal flowing water or food materials. These organisms are basically long, slender, without any features and tapering towards both the ends. Whenever you get an Ascaris infection in young or adult, the common symptoms of this could include gastrointestinal dis discomfort or you can term it as gastroenteritis or gastroinflammation, any one of those. There's a burning sensation or itching sensation especially in your stomach cavity or the muscular wall. Lot of alkalinity is reduced and acidic features or acidic formation is seen in the stomach. There's vomiting latently. Once you consume the food and digestion is taking place, there's vomiting, nausea which is seen. Fever which is intermediate or you can say intermittent fevers are seen. Fever which is once at very low temperature and then it suddenly increases. Pneumonioitis is it. The, your bronchial region or bronchitis or upper respiratory tract is inflamed. Observation of light worms can be seen in the fecal matter or in the stool region, especially in children.
secure ascaris or you can say so that ascaris doesn't spread safe disposal of the fecal matter that is infected with ascaris lumbricots should be done now there are certain drugs that are available to kill this roundworm and those are those are termed as ascaridis which includes mebendazole it is always estimated or it is always told wisely that once in six months one needs to have one of these drugs just to kill if there are worms present anyone and everyone who is eating little amount of junk food in their life are prone to ascaris which is very common in adult so it's always told that having one mebendazole or one anti ascaris tablet helps to clear out your fecal matter or if they are present they are killed fast protecting foods from dirt and soil is one of the ways to protect oneself from ascaris infection especially green leafy vegetables when you consume one should make sure that it should not be eaten raw and if it is raw it should be cleaned thoroughly and properly because green leafy vegetables can have dirt or mud stuck on them which can have ascaris lumbris lumbricots students in this part of the chapter what we did studied was about ascaris and how what is the causative organism how it is caused in young children what happens in adults what are the symptoms we came across each and everything i hope you all are clear with this concept thank you